sobrang. And I am every Filipino pita's worst nightmare. I am in my late thirties, freelance, what am I? Unmarried. In fact, I had a failed engagement. Room. I live alone. And I'm a proud Hupadera. <laughs> Who else is a Hupadera here? Be honest, raise your hand. Bodily or following, correct? Yes. And you know what? May no sustain na ba? Raise your hand. May no sustain na ba sa akin? Oh, oh, see you. Narang wala? Don't be scared. Because I'm not. I'm not scared at all. Kasi sa totoo lang, I believe that I am living my best life outside of those outdated expectations and pressures. A lot of us, you know, a lot of us face a lot of pressures. So, ano ba ang mga pressures na nafe-feel natin from other people? Can we hear past, present, and future pressures? Anything? Past, present, and future. Can I ask you, my co-hupadera? What else are our pressures? For example, having a child, you need some pressures. What else are our pressures? Miss Host Mary. I heard everything. All those pressures. And nakakabuisit siya. Am I right? Yes. Okay, ladies. Everyone, sabay-sabay. Sabihin natin, buisit kayo. 3, 2, 1. Buisit kayo. Isa pa. 3, 2, 1. Buisit kayo. Exactly. Tama naman. Nakakabuisit ang mga societal expectations and pressures. Nakakasira ng trip. And I believe that I actually became the current version of myself after I let go of all of that. So, syempre, it took me a while. It took me a while to get here on my journey as all good things do. Sabi na mga wise people. And I think this is what growing up or being a real-life adult really looks like. I think the secret is something interesting happens in your 30s that I didn't really expect. It came from the idea that I have leveled up. I have transcended. I've graduated from the regular societal pressures that come from your 20s. To be honest, hindi lang ako graduate nun. My master's degree na rin ako doon. Advanced education. My PhD na nga ako when it comes to being pressured. Honestly. For example, Obsessed ako dati with having children. 28 years old, gusto ko, gusto ko ka anak. I thought that being a mom was the only way that I would feel fulfilled and successful in life. Dahil yan ang mga tinutunan sa akin na media, conventional pop culture, parents, family. We hear all these things. And then one day, I thought about it and I realized, you know what, it might not be the only way to be happy. I mean, look, I look at motherhood, honestly, and all I think about is, wow, ang mahal, pampers, gatas, damit, tuition fee. At progressive pa ako na tao, so if ever, mas mahal pa ang progressive schools, di ba? Magkano na ba ang progressive schools ngayon, 250? And then I kept thinking about it. I thought, wow, ang effort, maglilinis, magluluto, to pick up, patulog. E mahilig pa naman ako sa eight hours of sleep para sa beauty, di ba? Yes. Yes. And I kept thinking about it even more and more and more. And I thought, ang pagod, ang pressure, ang ingay. In fact, I was on a flight two weeks ago. So I saw a beautiful family, two children. I saw it for about 10 minutes. Then I saw it for one. Then I saw it for the other one. Boom. Instant birth control. 
Crazy po. Hindi ito na, hindi ito na natupalang sa akin. But, and you don't get me wrong, a lot of my friends are moms, and I love children, I love their children, pero choice ko to talaga to be childless. And at a restaurant, if I order lobster, and if you order lobster, sorry, tapos ako mag-order ako ng chicken, saan na restituin mo naman yung order ko? Mas pura kaya yung chicken option. It's controversial, but it's my choice. Next, next pressure is getting married. Once upon a time in my life, not too long ago, I was engaged. I excited ako, of course, masaya ako, excited ako, and I thought my life was going one way, and then shit happens. It is what it is, diba? And of course, it was traumatic. It was painful. But looking back at it now, I really believe it was for the best. In fact, the more I thought about it, the more I realized we were so wrong for each other in the long run. And a part of me can't help but think that I went for it because it's what society expected of me, to settle down and get married as a woman. That's weird, no? Why do most people consider marriage a standard for women? Kailangan yan. But for a man, it's an achievement. Yes, most men should consider it an achievement to marry me. Diba? Yes. Correct. Because when and if I do decide to get married, it will be a choice I make for myself, not because it's what's expected of me. So speaking of unexpected, Side story. Did you know what I did to my engagement ring? Can you guess? So, what else? Sigula, puede, puede. I upgraded it. I still wear it as earrings. <laughs> I took a metal smithing glass, melted all that metal, and I turned it into my everyday earrings. And if you think that's impressive, you should. See how I upgraded my standards in men. Athlete. Malakas ang stamina. <laughs> Pero honestly, sa palagay ko, <clears throat> most things you can find in a marriage, you can also find outside of it. You can feel fulfilled by the company of friends, by the company of family, and you can still find support and community, especially if you work hard to build it. Am I right? Yes, so those pressures, wala, in my mind. And it's funny to me how all these things seemed so huge and world-ending at the time. But now, in hindsight, becoming an adult and growing into my 30s is really about gaining perspective about what actually matters to me. Now, the thing that's in front of my mind now is taking care of my parents. Does anyone else worry about that? Yeah. Taking care of my parents? It's around this age, no? I'm in my late 30s, where you start noticing they get older. So it's a little strange because have you ever pictured your parents in your head, frozen in time, tapos tinignan mo sila, ay, parang ang tanda na nila. Tapos may comorbidities. Saan yung galing? Nakakaloka. So I feel this huge urge to step up and be the one to take care of them instead. And this is especially true for my mom. So I grew up with her as a single mom, and I'm an only child. So she and we leaned on each other very much, and I was my mom's entire world, and it was just the two of us against the world. So she did everything that she could do to raise me as best as she could. And honestly, we drive each other crazy. <laughs> True frenemies, talaga. Who is frenemies with their mom? Diba? I love you. Pero dyan ka muna sa bahay, please. Huwag ka muna pumunta dito. But I acknowledge that it is my turn to help her. And I'm a little nervous. Not because feeling ko hindi ko kaya. But because magkasing demanding kami. I got it from somewhere. But to be fair, there is so much to take on as I grow into the role of being a breadwinner and being an adult in my own light. And again, being an adult is not about being married with kids. I think what it truly means to be an adult or a real woman is to recognize how to take care of one, yourself, 
and two, your loved ones. And also understanding that those two can differ so much for each one. For me, it was a lot about being financially responsible and making good choices as I became the breadwinner. It was first choosing to stabilize myself individually and establishing my career, and I had to make sure that I had a plan moving forward because I didn't want to completely rely on others for my well-being. And as a content creator and influencer, hindi talaga straightforward ang path. Pero let's face it, hindi naman talaga straightforward ang buhay dapat, di ba? And I'm continuously getting trolled and hated on every day. Pero I have to be resilient. This is the kind of resolve that you build after going through your 20s, constantly being pressured by outside forces. So a big part of it was also finding personal joy and happiness, discovering to do what I love to do, and surrounding myself with good people. In other words, I have to put myself first, diba? Because sabi nga ni RuPaul, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love someone else? And because of the work I put into myself, I was able to give that outward do. Now, alam ko na kung sino I deserve sa akin. Ah, na malakas ang stamina. Now I'm preparing myself to take care of my loved ones. And I see that life comes in cycles. So it's my turn to step up for my family in the way that they've been there for me. So give and take lang ito in the way that works best for you. So really, with that being said, flexibility, adaptability, and an open mind are very important. Parang MLM lang, no? Flexibility, adaptability, and an open mind. But yes, being in my 30s, I feel the resolve I built in my 20s is constantly being tested. Because you have to stand by your choices every single day but still be open to change. So who knows what's going to happen next? I used to think there was only one path of happiness set for women, but then I quickly realized that as my own path branched out, there's no such thing as a correct path, diba? Yes, there's no such thing as a correct path. I'm creating my own definition of success, of happiness, and of womanhood. So, may ready na ba sa inyo to graduate? from the outdated pressures of society? Yeah. Yes? Ready na ba kayo to step into your own version of womanhood? Yeah. Yes? Ready to be a Filipino tita's worst nightmare? <laughs> Ready maging buwisit sa buhay nila? Yes? So tara, sabay-sabay tayo, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. There you go.